Hello everyone, welcome to Default Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to configure store type and store in e-commerce website. Okay, so what is store type and store? So when you have a look into the e-commerce website, so like Amazon or Flipkart or wherever, so you might notice the uh, uh, websites are providing uh, services for cloth, jewelry and groceries, etc. Like so those are called as a store type. So when it comes to cloth, there might be plenty of uh, shops which is providing only cloth, right? Those are called as a stores, okay? So now we are going to configure store type and store here. So for that, what we have to do, I already uh, created a note here. So we'll follow this note and create all, okay? So first I'm going to create a store type of cloth and jewelry, okay? So for that, what you have to do under commerce, go to configuration store. There you can see there is a, a menu called store type, click on it. And here there will be one default store type will be there. If you want to add new one, you can add. So for that, what you have to give here, here you need to give cloths. So we successfully created one store type and next store type is a jewelry. jewelry so once you create it you can see it's a, a these two are a configuration entity here and this will uh, have a separate uh, manage fields and manage display manage form display so when you want to add any field here you can add so which means when it comes to cloth the cloth there will be a category called uh, When it comes to cloth, there will be a category called uh, kits or it only for men's or it only for women or it only for uh, adults or it's it will be for all the people. So it will be for all members in the family, right? So when it comes to jewelry, you might notice some jewelries are in golden color or some is in silver color or uh, oxidized jewelry we are saying, right? And they, so we have plenty of varieties in jewelries also, right? So uh, you can create any taxonomy term and you can uh, add it to the manage fields here or you can use a list field also here. So I'm going to showcase this feature with the list field now. So uh, under manage fields for the cloth, I'm going to add a new field called list text. So this field is for Especially for uh, this, this store is specially for what? So this store is specially for kids or adults or women, whatever you want, you can give. So I have around four or sorry, five here options. So I'm going to give multiple uh, select, save and require and save. So we successfully created a manage fields for the cloth. This field is not applicable for jewelry. So we have to create a separate field for the jewelry. So for jewelry, we have a type field. So we are going to define what type of jewelry it is. So it is type. And the option, I already uh, noted it. So copy pasting the option. So uh, if you don't want to have it as a select field, you can have it as taxonomy term. So I'm going to make it unlimited and save and field settings and required. And now we successfully configured the store types, okay? So we created two store types. One is cloth and jewelry. Cloth contain a field called specially for a uh, kids or adult, whatever. So jewelry contain the type field, so which defines the antique jewelry or gold or silver, silver, whatever the jewelry, so it contains, okay? So next, what we have to do, we successfully created a store type, right? Next, we have to create a store. So for that, what you have to do? Commerce configuration stores under store. Here you have to create a store here. So I'm going to create a store and I'm going to click on cloth first. So this is a cloth. 
So what store it is? So first I'm going to keep it as a kids corner. So it's kids corner means it's only for kids. So I'm going to update mail ID for this store. And currency, here it contains only uh, Indian rupees. So when you want to add any other currency, you can add it. So I'm going to select Indian rupee. So you can add your own currency here under configuration store currency. Here you can add. So I'm going to add a dollar here now. So it's US dollar. And so you can see the dollar USD is added. So and next address of that store. So you have to give the address. And here I'm going to it specially for kids. And uh, here uh, you have to select the billing address, uh, billing countries, what, what are the countries that are applicable for uh, billing. So you, if you want, you can select or, or uh, whatever particular country you want, you have to select that. And prices are included with tax. Uh, whatever the price you are uh, mentioning in the product under this store or those are included with tax or not. Okay, so I'm making it enable. So which means all my product prices are included with the tax. Okay, so tax registration, it's India. So I'm going to save it. So now we successfully saved one store. Let's create a one more store under the cloth. So it's family shopping. So family shopping means it will be for all members in the family. This store. Family shopping. Now you can see the US dollar is coming. Now you can add US dollar here. And time zone is uh, Kolkata. I'm going to give value for the address. So next, I'm going to select here family. And billing address, I'm going to give only India. So price, I'm not including with tax. And uh, tax is India. And save. So now we successfully created two store under the cloth type. And next, I'm going to create a new jewelry show, store. So that is treasure jewelry. I already know. It. So treasure jewelry. So treasure jewelry at gmail.com. So that uh, currency, Indian rupee. An address. So you have to give the address of the store. And this shop contained antique oxidized. And right hand side, you have to configure the billing countries. I'm giving Albania and tax India. And I'm going to save it. And next, one more store, let's add. The store is Tone Cutler Jewelry. So currency, US dollar. So address. So next, silver contain all the type of the jewelry. And right hand side, you have to mention. I'm going to mention billing country only India. And tax, India. And save, okay. So now we successfully created a four store, two store under the cloth category, two store under the uh, jewelry cloth store type, okay? And this is how you have to configure store and store type in an e-commerce website. I hope everyone understand it very well. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.